Hey y'all, my name oh, hold on this thing. Hey y'all, my name is Jalen and this is Art in Color, a channel where I talk about contemporary artists of color. Today we're going to talk about Kintura Davis, an artist who uses hidden letters and phrases within her work to communicate ideas about the black experience. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel so you can get notified every single time I post a new video. It helps me out a lot and I can make more videos just like this one. Now on to the art. Kintura Davis is a Los Angeles, California and Accra, Ghana based artist interested in exploring various facets of portraiture and the poetics and politics of language. Davis earned her BA from Occidental College and MFA from the Yale University School of Art. Rooted in language, Davis's work often incorporates handwritten script and text in innovative ways. In larger than life scale works exploring the relationship between image and text, Kintour Davis explores the role of language in shaping how we understand ourselves and the world around us. Utilizing photographs of friends, strangers, and family, Davis reworks the images using her own handwriting and rubber letter stamps. She takes rubber stamps and repeats a word or phrase over and over again until eventually making up an image. She does this in order to explore the idea of the impossibilities of representing black bodies. Blurred and often moving, her figures seem to display an impermanence and franticness. Her works pose the question, can the multitudes of blackness and black identity ever be known? Two other artists I can think of who utilize text within their work to explore ideas of the black experience are Lorna Simpson and Glenn Ligon. A specific work of Davis's I'd love to look at is All Space Between Ground and Sky. Using rubber stamp letters that spell the title of the work, All Space Between Ground and Sky, Davis forms a young woman dressed in sneakers, leggings, and an overcoat. She is in quiet contemplation, shifting her weight between her feet and reaching behind her head. She is seemingly unaware of the viewer's presence. The pressure and amount of oil paint that Davis applies to the delicate Japanese paper she used for the work determines the thickness and contours of the image, letting her create the girl's figure. According to the artist, the title phrase proposes a condition that grapples with how we perceive and articulate our understanding of space and infinity. The format of this drawing is a rare example of a drawing that shows the entire figure and blurs the boundaries between figure and ground, ground and sky. All space between ground and sky in particular belongs to the series Blur in the Interest of Precision, which includes works such as The Presence of a Long Past and A Flexible Form. The work in this group originates from long exposure photographs of Davis's friends and strangers. Davis then reproduces the images digitally and stamps the titles of the works over and over again to make the images appear. Kintour Davis often centers black women in the ways the visual and linguistic experiences help her and them understand their environment. Kintour Davis has artwork in the Blanton Museum of Art in Austin, the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, the Bunker, and uh, the Hammer in Los Angeles. Her first museum solo exhibition, Everything That Cannot Be Known, was on view at Savannah College of Art and Design in Georgia from February to December of 2020. She also recently put a book out. As always, I'll provide some links in the description below so y'all can learn a little bit more about the artists that I talked about in this video. The question of the day is, can you think of any artists who use letters or numbers within their work? Please leave your answers below and we can all chat about it in our tiny little art community and it'll be so nice and we can learn from each other. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you learned something new, share it with a friend. Until next time, goodbye.